How to write the best prompts for ChatGPT? Because there are so many ways to prompt AI, most people are doing it wrong. You don't have months to learn about prompt engineering. So here are the five laws on creating the best prompt to get AI to do everything for you. Here's an example of a great prompt. This is a carefully crafted prompt that will help you brainstorm unique social media post ideas on any topic you wish. Before I show you how this prompt was created, let me show you how powerful this prompt really is. Let's say you want to write a post about weight loss secrets for men and women over 40. Just insert this topic into the prompt and you'll get post topics like exercise less, lose more, or the silver lining diet where you can eat chocolate, wine, and cheese to lose weight, which seems very interesting, doesn't it? Now let's say you want a post about making money online without paying for ads. Just insert this topic into the prompt and you'll get post topics like the anti-social network and the $1 challenge where you can build a brand and get attention with only $1, which seems fascinating for those interested in online marketing, doesn't it? So do you like this prompt? Okay, let me show you how to create a prompt like this by using the five laws to write the best prompt for your business using ChatGPT. Ready? Okay, let's start. The first law of prompting is a great prompt is specific, clear, and concise. Remember, AI has no context who you are, what you do, what your style is, who your audience is, what are you trying to do, and why you're trying to do it. AI just has this general average idea of everything and what's more probably and what's less probably likely to happen. So you need to be specific in your direction. In our example, you want fresh ideas for your posts, right? You don't want average boring content. You want really good ideas. So instead of just hoping that AI will write something that's going to impress you, you have to tell it to be fresh or uncommon. That's why our prompt is brainstorm uncommon ideas for a post on the above topic. There is no room for this prompt to be misinterpreted. Second law of prompting. A great prompt contains descriptions and examples. Here you can see that we not only ask AI to come up with uncommon ideas, but we also give examples of what these ideas might be. Anytime that you send something into AI without an example, AI has to first get an idea of what you're talking about, create its own example, and then return the actual results to you based on what they think you really want. That's a lot of guessing, which will probably end in a result that you didn't want. That's why it's a good practice to always add examples to get a better result. That's why we told AI that examples of uncommon ideas are counterintuitive, counter-narrative, shock and awe, and etc. Third law of prompting. A great prompt requests a specific goal. I'm not sure what social media platform you are into, and that's why we asked AI to give us ideas for a general post on the above topic. We could have given it way more specific goals than that, such as brainstorm uncommon ideas for an Instagram post, a Twitter post, a LinkedIn post, a website blog, a newsletter post, a podcast script, a YouTube script, and so on. And based on AI's understanding of that specific platform, it will create the content for you based on that medium. Cool, right? Okay, the fourth law of prompting. A great prompt is sourced from human ideas. What does that mean? What most people don't know about AI is that it's a robot that's designed to come up with the highest probability answer, output. The content that it's designed to come up with is supposed to be average, common, and even boring content. So instead of asking AI to come up with its own understanding of your topic, which is a generic result, and then using the generic result to create outputs of more generic results, we gave AI a list of ideas that came from humans and asked it to create variations based on that. Such as we told AI that an uncommon post idea to us humans could be to open people's eyes by proving the status quo is wrong, or sharing a solution to a tough problem, or by telling a suspenseful and emotional story. This is us training the AI to think more like a human being by giving them more human ideas so that the output has more humanness in it. Makes sense, right? So the final fifth law of prompting is, a great prompt is written in a way AI can easily understand. If you have ever gotten poor output from AI, even though you told AI a lot about your situation, you might be making the mistake of having too many things going on in your prompt. Such as, do this, with this context, while keeping this in mind, and oh, don't forget about this, and this too. If you start layering too many of these directions onto AI, AI will be confused. So try and break your prompt into something really specific with a clear structure. 
Can I give you a cheat code? AI loves bullet points. AI loves lists. And AI absolutely loves when you define something by using a colon after a word. So AI knows that this is the topic just by the way we structure the information. I know you are used to writing paragraphs in your daily communications, but always remember to break things up into obvious chunks that's very easy for AI to understand. In this prompt, we basically told AI, here is where we insert the topic. Here is where we are describing what we are trying to do. We are going to define exactly what we are looking for. Here is what we expect you, the AI, to do. And we are going to give you examples from us intelligent humans so that you can create something even more intelligent, more impressive, and more awesome for us. So there you go. These are the five laws of prompting. As long as you keep them in mind, you will use AI on an entirely different level than everyone else. Cheers to AI powered. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments if you're having problems getting AI to do whatever it is that you want it to do, and I would love to help. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification button because in the next episode, I will show you the top mistakes people are making when using AI and exactly what you need to do to avoid them. See you in the next episode.